a little limp. But here comes a wake. We're in. Oh, well. There we pay all that money. We don't get any safe. Yeah, this is probably one of my worst days, this. Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Have you ever thought before you go fishing, what am I going to fish, how am I going to fish it, what do I take with me? Or do you just take all your rods, all your flies and hope for the best? Well today I went out to Pennoid. It looked like it was going to be a nice day, it turned into a horrible day. So I decided I was going to fish some fat buzzers. Martin Williams ties them. I just tied my own. I'm not going to tie and sell any. If you want any, you can get it from Martin's page. I'll leave a link in the description. They worked well down south, but up north, the trout don't like them. I think I had one or two takes. And with the sun being in my eyes most of the day, and the wind blowing, my eyes were watering, the glare off the water, I couldn't keep my eye. I couldn't reasonably see the indicator. I even went for Johnny H's XC Worm. Decided to have a go on that. But again, nothing. Nothing was working. There was a guy in the water, got a nice double figure fish, but anyway, I had to come up with a plan. I had to dig in the back of my mind, because the apps weren't working, the shammies weren't working, squirbies weren't working. What works elsewhere, but I've not tried here, this is what I came up with. I developed this fly for using at Ryburn Dam. Copperhead, black body, size 12, with a small white tail. The fish at Ryburn, it works there. We're on. So I had some in my box, size 10, black body, copper head, a lot longer tail. Put them on a 14 foot leader, single fly, intermediate line, let it sink down and brought it back. 15 inch strips, just keeping it movement, first fish took it. A little one. But... Okay. Little stocky. So what I did a lot today, move around the water. The fish were not taken in any particular area. Down by the life buoy, that's where it was most productive for me. Especially with this little lure. I was letting it sink down, counted it down to 30, counted it down to 50 sometimes. This is what happened. Coming for it, we're in. Ah! That one was my biggest fish, possibly seven, eight pound, because it was a vicious take and it scrapped like hell. Only for a short period of time, but it's barbless hooks, shake your head enough, it's going to come out. Still stuck in the area, single fly, intermediate, really fast retrieves, really poorly, stripping it like mad. They were vicious takes though, these were, and this one got me, good style. Could see it coming from a mile away. Here comes the wake, we're in, and we're off. Ah. Stop me. Different area, slightly off to the right, bringing it back 12 inch strips, pointing the rod directly at the fly. I wanted full contact on this one. We're in. Oh yeah. Get in there. As I say, it was difficult fishing for everybody. They weren't coming out fish after fish after fish. There was periods where there was no activity whatsoever. Loads of fish on the surface. Try for them if you wish. You need a really thin tippet and no doubt they would snap you. All the fish came out in the morning between 8 and 11. After that, that's when the rain started coming and the wind 
and the hail and it got cold and the fishing just died off. That harper swamp became very difficult. But oh, just good to get out. It's way. quite strange. It's a heavily stocked water. And there was only a few people yesterday and the day before. There was only eight of us today. Oh. And sometimes you go to a place and you think, if that's the recipe, I'm going to catch loads. No, the fish are affected by weather conditions. We had lots of rain for the last couple of days. Nice sunny morning. Then the temperature changed. And then the air pressure changes. All kinds of factors come into it. So it is a case of, what do I do? You have to go through everything. And luckily enough, I brought quite a few flies with me today. Some of them are banged because they work all the time. But my little Ryburn fly, and Ryburn is not a heavily stocked water, but I will catch four or five fish there on most visits using only four flies. Because when you look back in the records here, lots of fish are caught on different flies, different methods. Because people are fishing it on the top, middle and bottom. But you might find, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Or in my case, don't count your fish before you net them. Thanks very much for watching everybody, and I'll catch you later.